You know, during a pandemic that has taken a toll on just about everything, small business owners have had to use pandemic unemployment benefits just to stay afloat. But those benefits are set to run out soon with no extension in sight. Our Isaac Petcash is joining us live from the alert desk tonight. Isaac, you have the latest on a, uh, this critical program set to expire very, very soon. So if it's not extended, what does that mean for people on benefits? Eva, quite frankly, it means they lose the only lifeline they have because business owners and independent contractors really don't have that many lifelines left. They say, in essence, it's the only thing keeping them from safety and being financially unstable. It's a shame. It's a shame. People are going to lose their homes, <laughs> cars. I don't know how anybody would bounce back if they don't do anything. The clock is ticking. On December 26, pandemic unemployment assistance, benefits largely being used by struggling small business owners and contractors, will run out. And for people like Swangler, it's something they can't financially survive without. I'm so sick and tired of hearing people say, well, go out there and get a job. It's so easy to just go get a job. A lot of people in PUA are small business owners. They have their own businesses. They can't just go to McDonald's and get a job making, you know, in a lot of people have. <laughs> but it still doesn't make up the rest of that difference of their normal income. The looming stoppage of benefits have prompted several state leaders to voice their concerns. Earlier today, Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf issuing this plea on social media for Congress to extend the benefits. And earlier this afternoon, a similar urge from state unemployment officials. If Congress acts, we are ready to quickly and efficiently implement any program or an extension of anything that they, they pass. If the benefits aren't extended, Swangler says people are in for a rude awakening just one day after what's dubbed as the most wonderful time of the year. In her mind, even if people get the minimum amount, that's fine. It's better than nothing at all. That still puts food on your table for the week or even paying an electric bill, making a partial payment towards your mortgage or your rent. It's something. Now we've heard your concerns on social media, so we're going to bring back something we did a few months ago. Our daily unemployment Q&A is coming back starting this week here on Erie News Now. We're going to be answering your questions as we've done through the past couple of months to give you the latest information every day on unemployment and the situation in Pennsylvania. Live at the alert desk tonight, Isaac Petcash, Erie News Now.